Hey there everybody, this is Andrew from Teaching for the Awesome and this is going to be a game review of a website called Legends of Learning. Now this website was promoted to me at a conference that I went to and you know the, the people are wearing capes when they show you and they give you a cape to have of your very own you wear in your class and you're this awesome teacher wearing a cape and the kids are playing games in the middle of class so initially it really seems like this really really cool thing that awesome teachers should do um, however as you'll see throughout this review I want to try to give you a perspective on how really once you get used to the platform and you start to see how it really works uh, and you get some experience with it uh, you, you can end up with kind of a mixed review um, I don't hate this platform definitely but at the same time this is something that I've found can take a long time to really go through and vet the individual games that make it up so as I log in here I'm just gonna show you what I mean um, brings you to a teacher page or a student page you it has that ability like many other of these websites where you can generate a specific code for your class and then all of your students can log in um, using that code but we'll go in as a teacher here for now and you see how it has a lot of different subjects each of these subjects um, in both elementary school and middle school um, have a lot of different games inside the subject I haven't counted them all but there's probably over 500 different games that the students can use on this one website on this one platform and part of the good things about it are that you can set up essentially a playlist for your class so that they'll have 10 minutes worth of time to play on this certain game and, and to, to practice with that content uh, that um, those ideas and then maybe another 15 minutes with this other idea and then you can have it so that if if students are taking longer to complete the game than and other students are doing things more quickly you can differentiate a little bit by having sort of an advanced game at the end where the kids can do that only if they um, rack up enough points or only if they get to a certain ability level so it's got some nice functionality in that way but I think that the main drawbacks of Legends of Learning are that there are so many games when there's 500 games and you don't have time to go through and check them all um, th the only thing you're going to be able to to look at is you know oh these are the top 10 games that have been reviewed you have a little bit of a star reviewing system and you can click in there and you can look at people's reviews but what I've noticed is that all of the reviews for every single game seem to be these glowing wonderful this is the best game ever reviews and the problem is many of the games are not the best game ever um, you can have something that has 20 reviews that say my class loved this and then when you actually if you actually sit down and play the game or you have your students play the game it's extremely boring it's just reading the same content over and over again there's no actual gameplay to it and so it's to the best way to describe it is it's just not awesome uh, and you want the game experience for your class to actually be awesome so what I'm thinking I will do is I'd like to go through and actually vet these games for you go through and actually uh, play the games look at them carefully um, and do a video on each game you can see some gameplay you can see the pros and cons of each individual game now that's going to take uh, a long time and so if you're interested in that and you'd like to subscribe to this channel uh, I'll be coming out with video after video of gameplay of each of these individual games so that you can see what they are and the content that's involved in them um, the other issue behind this is that some of the games 
actually have content that is incorrect. There are things we've noticed, especially in the earth science category, where the content is just completely false. And so if you don't go through and realize that and make sure that you don't actually use that game with your students, then the students are going to learn the things uh, wrong as they remember what happened during that game. The other thing is that some of the games are literally just very, very boring. They're just uh, the same question, just a, a database of questions that have kind of been randomized and the students just answer questions and it's multiple choice and then they answer the next question multiple choice and there's really no interest to it, there's no gameplay to it, there's no fun, uh, there's no awesomeness in those games. So however, I mean I, I, I'm focusing kind of on the bad here but there actually are quite a few uh, really good games inside this platform as well but I'd like to pick those out for you and show you those games in upcoming videos so if you're interested in that uh, please hit the like button so that and, and the subscribe button and the bell and everything um, at the bottom of this uh, this video so that we can know that you actually want to to see those and if there's specific ones that you'd like to see a review on uh, quicker than than other ones then just post that in the comments below and we'll get to that one um, earlier instead of uh, doing lots of other videos before that so have a great great day and be an awesome teacher